हॅलो डिअर फ्रेंड्स आय एम संपदा कुलकर्णी वेलकम्स यू इन माय चॅनल टेक टॉक्स टुडे आय एम गोईंग टू गिव्ह अन इंट्रोडक्शन अबाउट ए व्ही एल ट्रीज ॲडव्हान्स ट्रीज इन डेटा स्ट्रक्चर्स सो नाव लेट स्टार्ट विथ ऑल ऑफ अस आर नोईंग द बायनरी सर्च ट्री कॅन यू थिंक अबाउट इफ विल गिव्ह द इनपुट इन सॉर्टेड मॅनर टू द binary search tree or to construct a binary search tree what will be the output of binary search tree or how the binary search tree will get created that sorted input may be either in ascending order or in descending order so now let's see how the tree the binary search tree will look like the binary search tree will look like a skewed binary tree that may be a left skewed binary tree or a right skewed binary tree if the data which you are going to insert is in descending order then the tree will look like in left skewed binary tree and if the data which we are going to insert in binary search tree is in ascending order the tree will look like a right skewed binary tree but if this is the case generated by the binary search tree then we can say that there are lot of problem or the time efficiency will be less for the binary search tree to perform different operations so what is the solution for that so now let's go forward let's see what i have written over here the time complexity to search a node or an element from a binary search tree in worst case is equal to the time complexity of linear search that is big o n then there is no any use of implementing a binary search tree if the time complexity is big o n so now what we need to do if this is the case before that we'll just take a glance what is the case with real time data in real time data we cannot predict the data pattern or their frequencies we can't predict ki input data will be in which order if it is in ascending order if it is in descending order then sure shot the generated binary search tree will be a skewed binary tree and for that its performance will be less so now we need to balance that binary search tree and for that balancing the new concept is introduced that is nothing but the avl trees the avl trees was introduced in 1962 by three scientists or inventors adelson velasky and landis the first name or first letter of these name these scientists is given to this tree that is nothing but avl tree now this avl tree is a self balanced binary search tree basically it is a binary search tree but he, this is the self balanced binary search tree and now that means avl tree is also a binary search tree but it is a balanced tree that i have already explained previously now go forward for the next what we are going to do extra with this balanced binary search tree so a binary search tree is said to be balanced if the difference between the heights of left and right subtrees of every node in the tree is either minus 1 0 or plus 1 yes i can understand this is very big sentence to uh, uh, understand what i want to say but let's i am going to explain this sentence now let's see what i am going to explain now here in other words we can say that a binary tree is said to be balanced if for every node that is every node in your binary search tree we are going to find out the height of that every node if that height of its children differ by most one then we can say that the tree is a balanced tree 
so now here we need to find out the balance factor whatever i have explained over here that is the difference will be at most by one or the uh, difference between height is minus one zero or one all these things are nothing but the balance factor so in an fvl tree every node maintains extra information which is known as a balance factor in next slide i am going to explain more about this balance factor okay, how are we going to calculate the balance factor for every tree before that let's see the definition of avl tree so an avl tree is a balanced binary search tree yes we just came to know about it is a binary search tree but it is a balanced binary search tree and in an avl tree balance factor of every node will be either minus 1 0 or plus 1 so now how to find out this balance factor because everything is depending upon this balance factor only if this balance factor of every node if it is either minus 1 0 or plus 1 then and then we can say that the tree is balanced tree or we can say that balanced binary search tree and it is the name given to this balanced binary search tree is nothing but the avl tree so if all these conditions are satisfied then we can say that the given tree is a avl tree so now let's go for the balance factor what do you mean by the balance factor all of us are knowing now what be what is the meaning of balance factor but how to calculate it that i am going to explain in this slide so now uh, at a glance again balance factor of a node we are going to find out the balance factor of every node so balance factor of a node is the difference between the heights of left and right subtrees of that node so now how to calculate it so for the calculation the formula is balance factor is equal to height of right subtree minus the height of left subtree or we can find out a balance factor by subtracting the height of left subtree minus the height of right subtree either way you can find out the balance factor either height of right subtree minus height of left subtree or height of left subtree minus height of right subtree so now let's see one example to explain the balance factor of a binary search tree or we can say that avl tree so now let's start with the node 25 the balance factor of every node is written just above to this node that is here 0 it is 1 it is minus 1 this is 0 0 0 1 and so on so now let's calculate the balance factor for node 25 what is the height of its left subtree it is 1 2 and 3 what is the height of right subtree it is 1 2 and 3 maximum height we are going to consider it is 1 2 and 3 it is 1 2 and 3 so maximum height of this right subtree is 3 maximum height of left subtree is also 3 so either applying subtraction of the height of left subtree minus right subtree or the height of right subtree minus left subtree it is giving the answer 0 that is 3 minus 3 is 0 that's why the uh, balance factor of node 25 is 0 now let's go forward for the node 20 the left subtree height is 1 and 2 the right subtree height is 1 so let's subtract left sub height of left subtree minus height of right subtree that is 2 minus 1 it is 1 that's why the balance factor is 1 let's calculate the balance factor for 10 the height of left subtree is 0 but the height of right subtree is 1 so 0 minus 1 that is left subtree height of left subtree minus height of right subtree 0 minus 1 the result will be minus 1 in this way you can find out the balance factor of every node so here we can say that the given tree is an avl tree as every node satisfying the balance factor property that is balance factor is 
either minus 1, 0 or 1. So, the above tree is a binary search tree and every node is satisfying the balance factor condition. So, this tree is said to be an AVL tree. And now, we will go forward to remember a key point is like every AVL tree is a binary search tree but all the binary search tree need not be an AVL trees. So here what I want to say that AVL tree its basic property is tree should be a binary search tree. Including the property of binary search tree if the balance factor is lying between minus 1, 0 and 1 then we can say that the binary search tree is an AVL tree. But all binary search trees need not be AVL trees as the example skewed binary search tree that in skewed binary search tree the balance factor property is not going to satisfy that's why the every binary search tree need not be an AVL tree. So hope you must understand what is the meaning of this particular statement and if you want to explain it that you can explain with the help of example of the AVL tree as well as the skewed binary search tree. Now we will go forward something more about AVL trees. So in AVL tree after performing an every operation like where if tree is going to modify after performing insert or delete operation we need to check the balance factor for every node in the tree because the tree is going to modify after performing insert and delete operation it's not needed in case of search operation as there is no any change in the structure of the tree but the tree will get changed after performing insert or delete operation so after performing this operation we need to check the balance factor if the balance factor satisfies the property then we can say that yes the tree is still a real tree here i have explained it in the sentence like if every node satisfies the balance factor condition then we conclude the operation otherwise we miss we must make it balanced <coughs> so to balance again the avl tree we need to use some tools so here in this avl tree we use rotation operation to make the tree balanced whenever the tree is becoming imbalanced due to any of the operation like insertion and deletion so what we need to do for rotation or how to apply rotation, how the rotation can be used to make the imbalance tree to balance again. All these things I am going to explain in my next video. Let's start with the rotation. Before this, I would like to explain or I would like to recall the concept of balance factor. The balance factor is nothing but the heart of the FVL tree because on the balance factor only we are going to decide that whether the given binary search tree is a VL tree or not. So you must know what do you mean by balance factor. Its value should lie between minus 1 to 1 only if all the nodes are having the balance factor either minus 1, 0 or 1 then and then only we can say that the said tree is a AVL tree. We need to check every time the balance factor after performing the operation like insertion and the deletion because after performing insertion and the deletion operation, the tree structure is going to be changed. And hence, we need to check the balance factor every time. If the balance factor 
it satisfying the condition after performing either operation then we can say that the tree is balanced and we need to conclude the operation otherwise it means that if the balance factor is not lying between minus 1 0 and 1 we need to make it balance again so how we can make it balance for this we need to use a tool which is called as rotation rotation is nothing but the operation which is used to make the tree balance if the tree is imbalanced due to any of the operation like insertion or deletion so other way round we can say that if after performing the insertion and the deletion operation or insertion or the deletion operation if the tree is imbalanced it means that the either node is not following the condition or a rule for the balance factor means it is not either minus 1 0 or 1 it is indicating that the tree is imbalanced and if tree is imbalanced it means that the tree is not an avl tree to make it balance to make it avl tree we need to perform some operation on the tree that operation is nothing but the rotation operation now let's start the rotation the definition of rotation is nothing but the rotation is nothing but the operation which are used to make a tree balanced here keep this in mind rotation is the process of moving nodes to either left or right to make the tree balanced i am going to repeat the sentence rotation is the process of moving the nodes we are going to move the node to either direction left or to the right to make the tree balanced how are we going to perform this process that i am going to explain from the next slide before that we must know what are different types of rotations so basically there are four rotations and they are classified into two types graphically i am going to represent all these different types of rotation so rotation there are of two types the single rotation and the double rotation first type is single rotation second type is double rotation in single rotation there are two separate rotations they are left rotation and right rotation in double rotation there are again two types they are left right rotation and the another one is right left rotation so in total there are four rotations left rotation is also called as ll rotation which is nothing but a single rotation that is in single direction only either to the left or to the right if it is left rotation it is called as ll rotation or if it is in the right direction then this rotation is called as rr rotation the remaining two types are or remaining two rotations are they belong to the double rotation that's why they follow the sequence like first of all single left rotation and then single right rotation this is nothing but the combination of two directions that's why this rotation type is called as double rotation in the both this is nothing but the combination of left plus right the sequence is first of all left then right that's why the name is given lr rotation the another one is right left sequence is first of all single right then single left and the name is given to this rotation is nothing but the rl rotation so in total there are four rotations ll rotation rr rotation lr rotation and rl rotation how to perform these rotations if the tree is imbalanced 
that I am going to explain now in the next slide. So now let's start with the first single rotation is nothing but the left rotation that is LL rotation. So what is LL rotation? So before going to this, I would like to explain it with the help of example. If I am going to insert a data in ascending order that is 1, 2, 3. In previous video only I have explained that if the data is in the ascending order or in descending order, the tree generated will be imbalanced tree. Yes, this is the binary search tree but this is imbalanced tree. Why it is imbalanced? Because you can see here the balance factor for the root node 1 is minus 2 and minus 2 balance factor is not allowed with our FVL tree. To make this tree balance, what we need to do? So, if this type of situation will be there, after performing a single rotation to the left direction, we can make this tree balance. So, now what we are going to do? We are moving the position of the nodes. 3 will take a position of 2, 2 will take a position of 1, 1 will take a position as a left child of a root node 2, which is going to become a root node. So here after performing a rotation you can see that the tree will look like this and now you can check the balance factor of all the three nodes. They are 0, 0 and 0. Now here we can say that the tree is balanced tree. Plus the tree is following a rule of binary search tree. So at the end we can say that this is a this is an AVL tree. So now here in the same the same I am going to explain with the help of words in LL rotation. Every node moves one position to left from the current position. And the same thing I am going to explain with the help of example. Now let's go for the next single rotation is nothing but the right rotation. Again the same thing before explaining this stuff I would like to explain the RR rotation with the help of example. So here now I am going to insert my data in descending order. Again it is forming a tree is nothing but the skewed binary tree. It is a binary search tree but it is not satisfying this node is not satisfying the balance factor property. It is 2 and which is not allowed. That's why we can say that tree is imbalanced and if the tree is imbalanced we need to perform rotations on that to make it balance. Now the imbalance is in the left direction. We make to make it balance we need to perform some rotation to the right side direction to make it balance. So here what we need to do we need to move the position of all the nodes to the right direction only. A single direction we are going to consider here in this example that's why the single right rotation the name is given to this rotation type. So 1 will take the position of 2, 2 will take the position of 3 and 3 will become a right child of 2. And here you can see that after performing a rotation all the nodes are satisfying the balance factor property. Hence we can say that the tree is balanced tree and now we can say that this tree is an AVL tree. Now let's move forward for the double rotation that is left right rotation. So what will be the situation? So we'll, uh, you can see all these things, you can pause the video, you can see all these things, you can read all these things and I would like to explain this double rotation with the help of example instead of explaining all this stuff. You can pause this video, you can read all these things and now let's go forward for the example. So now in left right rotation if the situation is like this that is the imbalance is there at a root node but it is having a left child and the left child is having only the right child in this case what we need to do first of all a single left rotation we need to perform here you can see that single ll rotation so two will take a position of one and one will take a position of as a left child of two it will look like this and now you can see that this is nothing but the situation where we have performed the RR rotation where 
all the nodes are in descending order and after performing rr rotation you, you are knowing ki what will be the form of the tree the tree is a balanced tree and hence we can say that this tree is a an avl tree so here we are going to perform two simultaneous operation or rotation operation first in left direction second one in right direction that's why this is nothing but the double rotation first l rotation and second one is r rotation that's why the name is given left right rotation to go forward for the next rotation double rotation right left rotation again you just go through this stuff you can pause this video go through this stuff and i am going to explain it with the help of example just opposite case where the imbalance is there at a root node that root node is having a right child and right child is having only a left child here imbalance is at a root node we need to perform first of all a right rotation that is two will take a position of three here you can see that two will take a position of three three will take a position as a right child of two and the tree will look like this and here you can see that a very first case where all the nodes are in ascending order and they are imbalanced to make it balanced we need to perform a left left single left rotation after performing a single left rotation tree will look like this and all the nodes are having a balance factor between its range so first of all here we are performing a right rotation then a left rotation that's why this is nothing but the double rotation where the sequence is right left rotation so dear friends thank you for listening my video if you like the contents and the video please like the video and subscribe my channel thank you